Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and this is another reading. This is for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius and I've kept some cards here and some people are going to shuffle live. Let me just readjust it. Yeah, there is more light this side. So these are messages that you or guidances that you really needed to know or what's happening in your life or what is important for you right now to know. I think that's more important. I'm not going to give it a time frame or any, you know, like you know, two days or seven days or anything. These are messages you need right now. You know, that's what I'm going to say. So let's see what are the messages. I'm using this beautiful deck. It's called Beyond Lemuria. It's a beautiful deck. The artwork is beautiful. Look at this. I mean, look at the colors. Everything is awesome. So let's see what are the messages for you, what all I can, you know, give you, what messages are supposed to find you right now, what guidance is you needed. So awaken awareness. So somewhere uh, you need to be more aware of things around you. You need to be aware of things happening, you know, um, you know, around you in the world or around you, you know, probably you need to awaken your senses. I don't know why uh, Gemini's, you're normally not dull, but I feel something is dulling your senses. I get dulling uh, you know of senses where your reaction is low you know you're not really feeling happy or you're not really up to it okay that's the message that i get i'm hearing from my spirit guides you're not really up to it my it might say awaken uh, senses or uh, you know awaken awareness i get more like senses i mean something is not really pleasing you uh, you're not really in the right spirit or in your uh, you know right frame of mind i get you know you kind of uh, uh, need to awaken to more uh, you know positivity i feel something is getting you down some some thinking in your mind like i know gemini's are uh, overthinkers i'm also gemini something is bothering you thinking about it again and again and you know remember i'm a psychic so i might be reading uh, i might be holding this card and uh, you know getting a very different channel message so i feel something is not right and something is dulling your senses something is not exciting you you're like really is this is this it am i overthinking you know um, this is boring me but this is uh really you know uh, you're all not really up to it i mean i don't know why is this energy today or for the week or coming days but really you're not really up to it so maybe rest a bit uh you know be aware of your situation or probably uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't want to say think more you know your brain needs a rest maybe that's what you need to do so air sign you did come up in your own sign uh you know in your own element and uh, here it says a paradigm shift so something is going to shift in your life something's going to suddenly happen you know uh, somebody's feelings are suddenly going to shift for you or some it's like a tower moment i mean it's going to change drastically you know some situation in job you know or anything else you know uh, probably if somebody wasn't talking to you will talk to you or you know if um, something that happens suddenly i get the word suddenly you know so there's going to be a sudden shift you know and it might be for the good because i feel a lot of balance here a lot of alignment maybe you needed that shift you were waiting for that shift shift could be from one job to another that's another message that i get it could be from one place to another you know you needed to make that shift and you want to also make that shift it could be either an external thing where you you know probably you're shifting from one job to another probably a house or whatever but you needed to make that shift maybe it's a shift in your thinking maybe you got aware of something and you're like okay i need to uh, shift my thinking or i need to be more aware look at this i mean most of the chakras are shining so maybe you've got to be uh, you got to align yourself with what is not really uh, what chakra is like right now probably weak and uh, what you need to make strong so uh, this is in alignment with others it's also in connection with others i feel not working really well with others here you need to strengthen your bond with others uh, normally gemini you work very well with people but something is overwhelming overwhelming you uh, you want to stay disconnected for a while that's that's like gemini are twins you know they would want to be with people and suddenly they will withdraw you know so i feel these are your withdrawing moments or you know your dull moments right now not your lively self something is um, you know you're not as energetic as you would normally be so i think that's troubling you Let's see what's the other message. The sound of the universe, of course. I mean, either you've got to be aware of the sound of the universe, you know. Probably universe is sending you signals. It's sending you that there is something, uh, you know, uh, drastically is going to change in your life. It's sending you signals and you're not receiving it probably because your, uh, you know, your mindset is like totally different now. You're not really open, you know, uh, to hear the universe's uh, blessings, to get its blessings or hear its voices. You've got to be really, uh, you know, awakened. You have to be aware but you kind of not listening to what's happening around you. I mean, you, there's so much going on in your head. Then you, even if universe is sending you blessings or some positive news or some signals, I really feel there are signals out to you, you know, com coming towards you that, you know, this is right, this is not wrong, or go this way or go that way. But you kind of it lost in your own trance, you know, probably you're not responding very well right now to your own self or what's happening and not happening is what I feel. So basically, yes, a paradigm shift, of course, maybe it will happen Sunday when you are more, more of your lively self or maybe when you make sense of the situation.
so uh, I was trying to do the reading uh, before this and the video did get spoiled a lot of time that happens you know uh, but I shuffled the cards again and this came out this is something to do with loyalty I mean you're really wondering if the person you are with is uh, loyal or not you suddenly you know you're like you know nothing is more loyal than my dog or nothing is more loyal than animals I really feel that either you want to get a dog home or a pet home or you worried about a dog or pet I hope you know I, I hope you know you've not lost a pet maybe that's that's your heavy heart maybe that's why you've been feeling dull and you're not really uh, you know up to it because I feel you're not up to it it could be worried about a a pet or somebody else's pet I mean you taking care of somebody else's uh, the pet the pet might be sick or something and you know you're taking care of a pet but definitely something to do with you know um, animals here maybe you like working working with animals you worried about a news you heard about an animal I mean probably somebody else's pet you are fond of but definitely something to do with a furry friend that's uh, you know making you uh, wonder what's uh, you know making you a little down maybe this is also making you a little upset or something Stepping through is uh, step, uh, you know, um, step through is getting connected with uh, the uh, universe and, you know, with the earth. I mean, staying balanced in both ways. I feel uh, you could be dealing with the earth sign, so it could be a balance between air and earth. I also get air and water, but suddenly some balance is kind of required. I also get bubbles here, so definitely with water, you know, uh, st step out of your dull energy because uh, you know you really need to be back into your energy it doesn't really do good to you and you cannot be like this for a long time and uh, you got to get uh, you know your you got to shine back again you know i don't know why you're feeling dull uh, gemini's so radical expansion so you could be uh, expanding your awareness could be expanding your work could be expanding you know in the sense understanding your love life your love life could be elevating to a new uh, you know giving you a new high so uh, this is actually going on to a next uh, level and it's totally radical ex uh, expansion. You didn't even know you could do so well. So it's like almost like getting infinite possibilities in this one. No, this is not here. But yeah, it's about infinite poss possibilities. Maybe your unique gifts will uh, let you expand, you know, probably you uh, want to do something which will, uh, you know, in a job or something, probably take up something which is a gift to you and you can use it. And probably uh, you will expand it or probably you'd use it as your business model or you, uh, you know, start something online. But this is definitely using your gifts and expanding them and seeing how well you can use it through different mediums, like either online or uh, taking classes. But definitely you are born with unique gifts. Okay, that's what I feel. But balance, of course, is required with one of the signs. I mean, whoever you could be dealing in, uh, dealing with in love. So trust your innocence. There's a little innocence, a little child in all Gemini's, you know. It's like a playful person and that's somehow gotten very quieter and then, you know, uh, I feel go back to your energy. I think the biggest message, uh, Gemini here, I mean, you can write to me in the comment section if this is your reading, if you're a Gemini, that uh, what's what's happened to you, you know, kind of look at the, uh, this is not Gemini energy, you know, Gemini, it will never settle at one place and this is like settling now. So trust your innocence, you know, somewhere uh, you've got to be a child again, you're going to see things probably through a child eyes, probably even when, you know. Uh, even your unique gifts, gifts you got to see with a child's eye and that's when you would get an answer. Maybe you're thinking too much about a situation. That's what I feel. Let's see what's your lucky number. Lucky number is seven. What else would I want? I mean, I, I said lucky number and it's a seven. So seven is going to be your lucky, lucky number. Any other one or two messages, Geminis, that I have for you? These are going to be quick reads. Let's see, Gemini. Earth magic. I told you, Gemini, you could be dealing with, um, you know, uh, somebody in earth sign. But I feel blessings coming. Um... I mean, uh, a balance is definitely coming. Probably the fairies are here to heal your relationship. Look at this light, you know. Probably you'll feel a better uh, when you've grounded yourself. Breathe a little. That's important. Breathe a little. Don't think too much. You, can, you are thinking all the time. But this is them bringing magic into your life. You just have to open up and let let the fairies in or let the universe do its magic. So remember, perspective is most important. That's what I told you, you know perspective is the most important right now you've got to see things you know awaken your senses what are you seeing what are you not seeing you know instinctively what uh, you've been um, you're getting attracted to is very important because if you do not have the right perspective things won't seem right to you I mean things are right now seeming very negative to you there is there is you're not seeing the silver lining in the things that are happening around you so I would actually urge you to do that Gemini let's see if there's a message from your loved one anything that I can say 
I'm worried you will leave me. So that's what the person will uh, say to you that they are they're actually worried that you will leave them. They're some somewhere getting insecure and they were never insecure about you. I don't know what you did or what happened. They're insecure about you. Sorry, I did not mean to hurt you. So they're sorry about, you know, hurting you. Uh, maybe whatever happened between you two and they want to say I want to be with you so they want to be with you no matter what they will not leave you they're they're worried that you you might leave them you know maybe because the way you've been behaving maybe because you've been behaving very um, <laughs> negative and you know you've been saying things to them picking up fights or whatever so they really think that you're not in that energy or you do not want them anymore and because your mood has been like that maybe the, you want to say something to them maybe you want to say goodbye to them they're also cooking stories in their head because the kind of because the way you are behaving i sorry i did not mean to hurt you so they want to say that if they did hurt you they're saying sorry to you and they do not want to say that and they're also saying why are you ignoring me so stop ignoring them gemini's get get back into the energy <laughs> like normally you are you cannot stay like this for too long so that was your reading so i'm going to move on to libra libra let's see messages for libra let's see your sign what are the messages for you i'm using two decks today and some love messages libra what are the messages for you what can i tell you what are the messages for libra okay these two didn't want to fall out okay lots of them i'm going to tell them uh, tell you which ones are important or which ones i'm not taking okay okay transformation i can see stepping through i can see so stepping through and going to some going to do something different is what i get before i even see high heart chakra do good to others be generous that's how you are is what i get you'll be feeling very generous a similar cards you know no wonder because the air sign similar cards to gemini yeah let's see i think these are enough sorry i'm gonna pick that up okay let's see what is the story you've got high heart chakra you're going to feel very generous you're going to feel very generous i don't know why it says i'm like jealous i think it did you're going to feel very generous giving a lot of your nature will be very giving right now you would want to give a lot of love and uh, i think it's give 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 that's the channel message that i'm hearing from my spirit guides transformation you're going to change yourself you've been wanting to change yourself but don't do it out of somebody's pressure you know probably if you feel that you change if you change I know if you feel that I'm going to change myself and the person is going to accept me better or, you know, I need to change myself, don't do it. I get somebody's pressure, look at it, not really happy. I want you to be happy if you're transforming, uh, you know, changing anything yourself, uh, in yourself. If you have a bad habit, if you want to change that and you, or if you know you have too much anger and you want to, you know, mellow down a bit or slow down in life or you think you, uh, you are like something and that's a negative thing or you have addictions and you want to stop that. So I would say yes, transformation is fine. But here, I do not know why, Libra. I feel you you are, you know, somebody's asking you to change. So you're like, okay, please, I'll change, you know. I'll be like what you want. You cannot do that. Maybe that's troubling you. Maybe that's your high heart troubling you. That's hitting you somewhere in the heart. That's another message that I get. Remember, this is a general reading. One card might mean a lot of uh, different things to uh, different people. That's what I got two stories here. I also get either you're very giving or either this is your high heart chakra you're not telling you not to do it not do not change probably inside your heart you're not very happy that you're changing for someone because i see a forced change i don't see a welcome change that you want to change yourself somebody's asking you that that's why you're changing a lot of manifestation going on in you you're going to manifest uh, you probably are seeing a lot of videos you're writing a lot of manifestations probably you write a diary or something and write your manifestations there maybe manifestations are going to bring about a transformation in the situation that's another story i get you know probably you want to manifest a lover in your life or you want to change things i mean you want a better relationship with someone you're manifesting a lot right now and could be transforming yourself you manifested something that i want to be or i am going to be like this and manifest a you know a better person who enters your life so earth star chuck uh, sorry earth star chakra so could be uh, stay grounded, stay connected to earth, okay? I get a lot of air and earth happening right now. So maybe uh, get grounded, not flighty in your thinking, you know, and in your imagination, okay? And uh, yeah, listen to your intuition. What is it saying? Do you have to change or not? Does it require transformation or not? I think the transformation totally depends on you. That's the story again and again that I'm getting, you know. Fire could be dealing with fire. I feel a lot of anger for someone or, you know, uh, 
it's kind of that anger is burning inside you i don't know why somebody's played with your heart i get like like heart or somebody is messed with you and i feel that anger you know that fire almost you know um he, he, i mean uh, if i could see i mean i could see the fire all around you so it's like you 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 could be like a dragon and you could set the other person on fire you're so angry i feel a lot of anger i don't know libra the anger is uh, for what is it more like a heart chakra or somebody really forced you to be someone else you know you change for someone you change yourself so much for someone that you lost your individuality okay that's what i get stepping through stay balanced okay stay stay who you are i want to say i mean if you want to change it's totally on you for the good okay but do not change for the person because um the changes should happen because you want them to happen so radical expansion could be that you understand that uh, you know um getting more in control of the situation i think you were totally out of control of uh, of this situation the situation was not even in control of you you know under your control i mean somebody else was controlling you get away controlling for a sign i do not know why is it a dragon i just said a dragon you got a dragon yes i mean you want to spew fire on someone i mean you want to burn someone down <laughs> it's that bad you know was some why are you so angry i mean the portal keeper yes i don't know you want to be, uh, be the portal keeper of your values i don't know why am i saying this this is very different this is values beliefs you want to keep them you know you do not want to uh, act against your values probably somebody uh, wanted you to uh, act outside you know your beliefs and your values and that was troubling you 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 know you uh, believe in something and the person like no you know you should be doing this or you know either is it cheating or something or you uh, did something which wasn't right and you know you have to think that uh, how did i you know i had these limits you know why did i cross them or i believe in these values i believe in integrity i don't know why i get the word integrity anything in office i mean anything uh, happened or is it integrity somebody else did backstab you but you were like i believe in this and i'm the portal keeper of these values and why did i do this only you know what i am supposed to protect the values of, i don't know why i mean uh, these are more like messages that i get you know than the cards so that's what i get so root chakra of course uh, stay grounded stay rooted to the ground uh, do not yes do not act on uh, do, do not be impulsive i get you being very impulsive suddenly you know it's like you know uh, picking up a fight or you know just waiting for something oh i just saw the fire card and i saw the vo uh, volcano while uh, shuffling the deck so maybe that is for you be careful you know because sudden decisions sudden actions sudden reactions i do not want from you rebirth you've got two transformation cards so maybe a rebirth is important i mean you are uh, leaving the past behind you leaving whatever bad happened to you you know whatever uh, you couldn't i don't know what you gave up you know you're feeling bad about it you you're like this is not me you know so you changing everything about yourself you know when we uh, uh, wipe the slate clean and you like i'm going to restart my life you know probably your rebirth is like that libra it's like i'm going to restart and you need all the strength for it you know you mustering up your strength you like i if i need to change something in my life you know i need all the strength yeah you like karma will get them somebody did bad to you you know karma will get them and that's what you've been feeling you know uh, this is their karma you know uh, i god will get them i don't know why i get this that if they've been mean to me bad to me uh, you know there'll be a time when they will pay for it you know i at libra i'm getting this your instincts are high right now okay look at this release what you want to release you got two mountains i don't know what it means it means uh, you know either you stay near mountains or you got to get the strength of a mountain you know it's almost uh, if something is like a burden to you you almost did so much work it was also almost like moving mountains it also says release so you got to release something so i say i get something from your past was really bad past could be yeah uh, two weeks ago yeah something that really uh, troubled you look at the cards i mean you got you want to totally forget that you want to forget that phase and you want to move on is what i get very different reading from gemini of course so air signs um, libra was this let me give you a uh, number what's your number lucky number is 10 10 is 1 okay sorry let's see what i don't know why i said sorry okay because i must have read this sorry here yeah. Maybe the person wants to say sorry. Okay, maybe you're waiting for them to get uh, say a sorry to you. Let's see the person you are in love with. What are they saying to you? What are the what is the person saying to you? Fell out in my hand. Sorry. Okay, this had to come out because I said sorry by chance, and now you know this is sorry. I did not mean to hurt you. So somebody did hurt you very badly. This is it. You know, sorry, I did not mean to hurt you. I'm worried you will leave me. 
pretty much same like the Gemini. So they're worried that you will leave. Then maybe you re that's where you transformed and you restarted your life. I'm confused right now. They're confused right now. They don't know what hit them, you know. I mean, they were mean to you. They were bad to you. And suddenly you made a decision like you got impulsive or whatever. I don't know. But they still don't know what, what hit them. So they're confused right now. I'm not sure about us. Maybe they weren't sure about you. So remember, these, these could be four different messages. You really know which one fits, you know, is for you. So sorry, didn't mean to hurt you. I am worried you will leave me. I'm not sure about us. I am conf I'm confused right now. So that's that's their thoughts, you know, right now. That's what they, that's what they would want to say to you. So let's see. I'm going to move on to the last air sign, Aquarius. I'm going to do it sign by sign. Aquarius, when come to the reading, this is what messages you, sh you should be knowing right now, what guidances I can give you. The Gemini and Libra were totally different. So let's see what are your messages. Give me, let me clear the deck. Let me clear the deck of any energies. Give me some cards for Aquarius. What do you want them to know? Give me some cards for Aquarius. What are the messages? Okay. Take this one. I'm going to take this one. Healing. Vulnerability. You were vulnerable in a situation. Okay. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them to you what are the cards. High heart chakra. Okay. This one also fell. Okay. Lots of them. Let's see what's the story. Sometimes it's a story. Sometimes it's not a story, guys. Remember that. So if it's a story, you know it. I'll tell you if there's a story. Remember, this is a general reading. So a lot of different stories can come out. The Riyam Bridger. You're going to be a bridge between two people, moderator. You're going to um, be like a connecting. Uh, you're going to connect to people. Maybe uh, you're going to bring friends together. Maybe in office, you know, you could be connecting to people, which could be good for you. But I also feel a lot of connection otherwise. But yes, you're going to bridge the gap. I also get the... Um, spirit guides are saying bridge the gap you know you want to bridge the gap between two people or could be bridging the gap for yourself if something went wrong with someone I don't know why but I got somebody left a vacuum in your heart you know what's what's that I mean do write below because this is a general reading but I might pick up energies and just say okay so earth sign I feel you love nature I mean air loves nature I get more like you know wanting to be with you know out in the nature I don't know if you like birds or you keep you know, hearing birds chirping or you love that probably uh, they come and sit by a windowsill I don't know why I got that visual so I'm saying it that probably a pair of birds come every, uh, comes every morning and sits on your windowsill and you love that so something to do with connecting uh, with that and you love nature maybe you'll be staying somewhere in the forest or you'll be going for a trek will you be going for a trek will you be somewhere near the lake or where there's a forest and there are a lot of birds why do I get birds 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 did you ever have a bird as a pet uh, as a pet did you ever, I was going to say a parrot, did you have a bird as a pet ever? Earth and earth, you've got two earth star chakras. So be grounded, stay grounded, um, walk on the grass, uh, bare feet, okay? You, it, it'll really help you, it'll really help you clear your mind. I don't know why I want to say this, this is a channel message. Some You need to clear your mind of a lot of mess, you know, a lot of things happening. So basically connecting with it, I, I have a feeling you you want to be like i want to get away from the city i want to be where somewhere you know next to nature i have enough i've had enough of the city life this is for you aquarius i don't know why am i getting it yes totally excited um you, i'm gonna have uh, you know great sex with your partner whoever your partner is a lot of attraction a lot of dates yes that's what i feel and uh, any other message i feel a lot of passion and attraction there a lot of connection you know that's what i said it's connecting to a lot of people you know i also feel a birth somewhere you know it's like birth is going to happen you know conceiving if you go wanting to conceive you know uh, i feel conception see here you've got loving um a loving compassion a lot of love you know a lot of light coming in um healing remember we said oh i said a lot of light coming in here you need to shine your light I mean, your person really loves you and, you know, and the moment you see them, your eyes light up. I think that's what I want to say. That's what the spirit guides are telling me. The moment your heart chakra, you know, suddenly your li your eyes, are, you know, light up. It says shine your light, believe in yourself. Now is the time to do it. I don't know why is the message, but it's a very uh, now message that now is the time to do it. 
you know you could be wanting to do something and you've been procrastinating it you know wanting to have uh, the right time to uh, you know to do thing at the right time right thing at the right time but uh, the spirit guides are saying i'm hearing messages that this is the right time what are you waiting for you got to shine i really feel conception you know loving compassion is from you know when two lovers uh, unite and you make a baby <laughs> so i really get that i mean you would be conceiving i get you know that's really beautiful time for conception for you aquarius if you've been wanting to make a child <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, wanting to have a baby, that's hilarious. High heart chakra. You've got a lot of heart chakras, you know. That's beautiful, you know. Or probably you've been healing your heart and you understand your heart better. I don't know why I'm saying it. All these messages are more like, uh, you know, channel messages by the spirit guides. Uh, they're telling me to tell you that, you know, your um, heart, heart is going to be really happy, you know. Your heart is going to be healed and your heart is... You know, when you have that light and you also spread that light when your heart is healed, maybe you do work like that where you spread uh, happiness, maybe you make people laugh or uh, people uh, love talking to you because you're very humorous, but that's, you You know, that's how you feel and wherever you go, you know, the spotlight is on you and people are around you, that's, I, that's the kind of visual I'm getting with you guys. Internal explorer, yes, uh, I mean, you'll, you'll be... Um, rationalizing a lot of things you'll be reflecting on you know um, yourself or what you're doing what you're not doing you know you go deep inside uh, yourself to understand why you're behaving like this i mean you always do that once every action that you um, you know or whatever whatever you do whatever action you take or whatever you do you always go back and reflect okay you like deep inside should i be doing this i, th I feel appearance you're very scared of hurting people you know somewhere you like every time you do something you like did it hurt someone did i do this Will it hurt someone? Will my words hurt someone? I want to be good to people. I, I, I get the word generous and that's why I said give, give, give. You know, it's almost like give, give, give for you. Yes, of course, on the paths of healing, you could be a healer also listening to this. You could be, a, I, I'm, I do not know, I do not get the word psychic. I get more of a healer, you know, healing with hands uh, probably or, or something like that. But yeah, you are a healer is what I get. A vulnerable situation right now don't be too vulnerable i mean i feel more like vulnerability could be protecting your energies you know you have to protect your energies you have to protect yourself um you know from a lot of uh, I, I feel you absorb energies because you've got a very loving heart you are open you know you you open to other people's story negative positive so you absorb a lot of you know uh, stuff like negativity uh, you absorb it so you got to have this uh, you know protective light around you i think that's very important Here's your, yeah, of course, soul star chakra, merging with the divine. You've been, you've been doing meditation and you do healing, you know, you're totally different. You've got such a beautiful heart. I mean, I would say you've got such a big heart. It's almost like having two hearts, you know, Aquarius. This is so beautiful while I'm reading this. You know, this is how you spread joy and light. I really feel you, you bring the smile to people's, um, you know, face and you really, you really make people smile and you get them out of their, uh, you know, bad moments and the way you inspire them. Maybe you, you inspire people, maybe on Insta, there are a lot of followers. I mean, what you say um, re really makes a difference in other people's life. And look at this. Of course, you've got a unique gift. You heal people, you make people laugh, you make people smile, you heal their hearts in a certain way. Do you work in a hospital? Are you a nurse or anything, you know, healing? Or, or with people, you know, who feel depressed, maybe you did heal someone who was depressed. Let's see what's your lucky number. 12, you got a 3. I think you've been seeing 333 three, three a lot. You could be seeing 333, three, three. you could be seeing 666 six, six a lot. That's another message that I get. Let's see any other messages that I can pick up from here. Rebirth. Okay. So rebirth could be, uh, I feel if you're having a baby, somebody from your past, like a grandmother, grandfather who has passed away, will come in your family. That's a strange message, but I do get this. And you you got birds here, you got, I don't know if you got birds there. I hear birds a lot for you guys, I don't know why. Something to do with birds, but yes, there is a rebirth. You could be uh, rethinking something or starting something from again. It's like, um, you know, going back to the basics, going back to the board. I mean, you are a healer. I cannot believe that you're not a healer. And if you pick pile number three, you have to tell me that you're a healer. So ancient healing wisdom, you, you, you know, your grandparents have passed some kind of, a, some kind of healing or they, they were healers and they've kind of, you got probably you read hands, palms, astrology, but it was so, it was a unique gift that was passed on from, you know, your parents, your grandparents, but somebody, you know, I really, really feel that there is, there is a gift that was passed. Look at this. You also do ceremonies, you know, you uh, do um, 
you, you probably work with candle magic or you work with, uh, you know, probably white magic like I do, but definitely, you know, you, you probably a uh, soothsayer. I mean, you could be telling the future, some kind of a future, but there's a lot of healing work, you know. I feel your hands, hands heal. You have that, I can feel that warmth, you know, in somebody's hand. I feel really, you know, your hands heal. That's a, that's a huge message. Okay, so let me, this is beautiful, okay. Sorry, guys, this is beautiful. <laughs> Let me see what messages, love messages, what the person in love with you wants to say to you or your partner or whoever you're dealing with, your special person, your specific person. Let's see, let's see. I'm confused right now. Why are they confused with you? Are you giving them mix, mixed signals? I feel you're giving them mixed signals. Okay, I have family problems. So they have family problems. They want to be with you, but they can't. Probably they want to give time to you, but they can't. So they're confused how to divide their time. I, th I think it's more on time. How to divide my time, how to divide my love, how to divide my finances, something to do with that because they have to take care of, your, of their family. So they are worried about that. You know, it's nothing that they don't want to be with you. It's nothing like that. I don't want to fight it. They don't want to fight. Maybe this becomes a topic every time. And that's where you end up fighting. That you do not spend time with me. Uh, you do not give me much priority. Somebody else is your priority. So maybe that becomes the topic. Okay, these two I got in the hand. Let's get married, okay? So some of you will be receiving a proposal. But what is this? I can't commit right now. So probably you wanted to get married and probably the family, there are family issues, okay? So probably the person might commit later. They want to commit, but the they want to get married. But the problem is, here, yeah, this card, you know, you can't commit. I cannot, and I have family problems. Maybe this is where they're stuck. That's why this card in between. <laughs> So I hope they commit soon and I hope this uh, sort out their family problems soon. So that was your reading air signs and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back soon with another reading. Thanks guys. Bye.